Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, whatever place it is you are watching, okay, you are listening to this episode. Probably one day you'll be watching. You're listening to this episode on Live Signatures Radio. We are a daily show. I am a daily show. <laughs> And maybe at times I normally interview someone and in a week and, and so on and so forth. But I've been doing that for a while because of one thing or two. But every single day we are talking about purpose, productivity and resilience. And you're finding us in this episode. In the middle of a series, we are talking about what to do when you found stuck in a job that you hate. What can you do to inject purpose into that particular job? That's what we're discussing. I've laid a very good foundation, very good groundwork has gone into this and starting today, uh, hopefully starting today, we start nailing the points one by one and seeing exactly what you can do when you find yourself stuck in a job that you hate. Uh, Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The reason you are stuck in a job that you hate is simply that you don't have an alternative. You don't want to quit. Maybe you are scared of quitting in the first place. Or maybe there is no option B for you when you quit. You are already getting something out of that particular job. At least it's paying your bills. and At least it's, it's more than, it's more than, it's better than nothing, so to speak. That's why you're still there. But the problem is you hate it. And I understand you hate it because I've been there several times. You hate it, but you are still there. So the fact that you cannot quit, the fact that you are still available for that particular job, it means that the only thing that we can do for now is to help you to inject purpose into that particular job. Because if you don't inject purpose into that particular job, you are continuing to corrode yourself and you're continuing to corrode that organization. And what you're doing is not going to pay off. Actually, you are necessarily corroding your career progression. Yesterday, I hinted and I told you that when you are working in a public place, people see your work ethic. People see your countenance. People see the love or supposed love that you have for your job. And you don't know who it is that is watching you. And probably nobody is watching you at the end of the day. But what you're doing is that you are either helping yourself at the job you are at today or you are not. It's that simple. It's that straightforward. If you're not helping yourself and you're stuck there, the thing to do is the honorable thing and just get out. Throw in the towel, walk away. I told you some years back, maybe two or three episodes back, I told you that some years back I got into this job and in three months there was nothing new, no challenge and I started hating that job. I forgot to tell you, maybe I've shared in another episode, that I spent in, I spent in that job another four years hating the job four years let me tell you what happened so much so that 
the organization was downsizing actually not even downsizing they were increasing they were going to a bigger building and they were getting better facilities they wouldn't move with me they left me behind to close shop in that if other clients come in of the same clients come in thinking that they are still there my job was to redirect them to the new place until such a time that nobody starts asking and they close basically i was left behind to see myself walk myself out of a job why did that happen it, it happened because i had hated that job and i hated it with a passion and let me tell you this i did not hate it when i i went there i wanted it i was excited about it but some things happen in some jobs you outgrow them i am a very fast learner and there was no challenge after 3 months i outgrew that place i started hating it and i hated it for years on end it wasn't helping me in any way a long story short do you know why i am here today i am here today because i quit i could not add value or purpose into that uh, job and so i quit and when i quit that's when things started happening for me of course things went south and so on whatever i was afraid of came to pass i couldn't find rent i couldn't have money and so on and i went through a lot of stuff but that stuff helped me to be where i am today and to go where i am going since that moment i have never attended another interview ever i've worked now in three countries i've worked in kenya I've worked in ghana i've worked in uganda never attending an interview all the jobs and the opportunities i've gotten have been because of recommendations have been because of my work ethic and my attitude and people seeing what i can do and actually recommending me and saying you can do this despite the fact that i do not have the qualifications that those people are looking for even up to today it's still happening anyway When you find yourself in a job that you hate, there are some things that you're supposed to do. Let us start nailing those things down. When you're doing life, you tend to balance between living a life of purpose and paying bills. And we need to know that what we are doing at this particular job is not just to be there to pay bills. There's got to be some level of purpose. What to do? What do we do with the discovery that we are not living a life of purpose in the current vocation we don't love where we are we don't like it what do we do as already advised do not quit your vocation just yet given that the purpose discovery and deployment it's a continuum it takes time it's a process it only is prudent to start ticking off or to start by injecting some level of purpose into this current vocation forcing yourself to start injecting this purpose into the current vocation if you think you can be able to do that if you think you're up to it you're staying you're not quitting please consider the following things today we're going to talk about just one thing and then we'll call it a day number 1 plug into the vision of that particular organization that you're working for what is the vision of the organization the vision is the transformation that this organization is working on it is the purpose of the organization is the value that it's adding into the world and start approaching your work from that angle start seeing yourself adding value to the world through working in that particular organization things might not change things that are making you hate that job might not change your salary might not change your leader might not change your work schedules might not change but your mentality the why behind something that you're doing changes and that might affect you in a positive way The reason as to why a big reason as to why we hate the jobs that we hate is because we cannot connect the to the vision of that particular job. We are just looking at a task or a project. We're just looking at some things that we've been asked some activities we've been asked to do, repetitive activities like you know rubber stamping, rubber stamping, rubber stamping and that's all you're doing the whole day. 
you are not connecting rubber stamping to the actual thing that it's contributing to the ecosystem of that organization and therefore it looks like you are an important cog if you stop rubber stamping is going to affect another thing in the organization which affects the overall purpose of the organization so start looking and plugging into the vision learn how many people work and they have no idea the vision of the organization for which they work you will be shocked and for the most part, those people who don't know the vision of that organization and they're not attuned to it, they're the ones who hate the job. It's a fundamental uh, philosophical problem sometimes. It can be a, a philosophical problem more than it is a financial problem, an economistic problem, or an environmental problem. It can be a philosophical problem. So first understand that the organization you're working for has a purpose and has a vision. Know it. Find out what is the heartbeat of the founders or the leaders of that organization. Why are they finding? Why did they found that organization? And therefore change the reason for your working for them. The reason for working for them is not primarily for, so that you can be able to earn. Even though your salaries might not be enough. The philosophy of you working needs to change from the salary. Because probably the salary is the one that is giving you a problem. To transformation and value addition for now remember you are not we said yesterday you're not this is not your destiny chances are that this isn't your destiny chances are that probably it is your destiny to be in that organization but not in that department and maybe not in that position but now that you are there learn the vision if you can't quit learn the vision of the organization and change your perspective it should be a perspective of pushing the vision of the organization not just working to get paid at the end of the month and this is such a refreshing view of things that will change your thinking and it should to change your application how you apply yourself to that particular job please do not do this wanting to be paid for extra efforts just do this for the sake of changing your philosophy sometimes what we need to change is our philosophy our mindset not our salary sometimes i'm saying sometimes not our not our desk not our computer not our sitting position, not our boss. Sometimes it is our own philosophy, the reason behind what we are doing. The main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing. So what is the main thing? Do not do this so that you can get paid. Do this so that you can change your philosophy. Don't even think that your efforts of injecting purpose into your vocation should be recognized. Don't even think that they should be commensurated with the pay that you're getting. They should be rewarded. No. It is for your own good. Remember we said one, two things. Either you are corroding or the organization is corroding if you hate your job. So we are sorting you out here. Just do this for your own good. It is good for you mentally. It is good for you spiritually. It is good for you emotionally and even physically in your health. Believe me, the payoff will be much, much later and even much better than you might even ask for. So number one, when you find yourself in a job that you hate, sort out your involvement in the purpose and the vision of that organization. If that doesn't help, then we're going to help you with something else, which is number two tomorrow. For now, that's it. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.